Who has two thumbs and loves iguanodons? This guy. So the iguanodon has always been one of my favorite dinosaurs. This guy lived 139 to 90 million years ago, and he cuts a mean profile in most of your illustrated dinosaur books, mainly because of his thumbs. He has these conical spike thumbs on each hand, and it's always been kind of a mystery to paleontologists exactly what these thumbs were for. Well, there are a number of crazy theories as to what he was doing with these things. First up, death thumbs. This is the, uh, the most fun of all the theories, and one that certainly resonates the most with the kid in me. This is the idea that these are stiletto-type weapons that the iguanodon brandished when threatened by a predator. So someone comes and messes with the iguanodon, he's gonna start throwing spiked thumbs at people, gouging an eye, gouging a neck, getting you in the gut, wherever he can stab you. Up next, sparring weapons. Now this theory is that, okay, what if the iguanodon used the spikes in combat, but not against other species. They would use them in uh, mating displays, in sexual competition between male iguanodons. Kind of like two male elk sparring. And then there's the theory that these were not weapons at all, but these were used to open fruit and nuts. In other words, he would find uh, some sort of tasty prehistoric nut or fruit, and then the thumb would come into play in peeling it or breaking it open. And then there's the idea that these were essentially sex spurs. In other words, when one iguanodon is mounting the other during intercourse, he's going to hang on by using his spikes to, to keep his position on his mate. And again, this is one that we don't really have any particular support for, but it's uh, an interesting theory. And who doesn't like to think about dinosaurs doing it? Of course, for my own part, I can't help but think of the eye eye of Madagascar, a nocturnal lemur that has two elongated fingers, one for grooming and the other for reaching inside of the trees to fish out some delicious worms. So maybe with the iguanodon, uh, the thumb spike really has to do with the way that it co-evolved with its food source. And uh, if we were to go back and actually actually inspect the environment in which it lived, we'd have a much clearer idea of what these spikes were actually for. So what do you think the iguanodon used its thumb spikes for? What would you yourself use them for if you had spikes for thumbs? Leave a video response and don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out even more mind-blowing videos.